<clears throat> All right, so we're back at it, right? Using, um, using a chemical equation to find the moles of product for moles of reactants. By the way, I did this one yesterday, writing the net equation for a sequence of reactions. So you, you know, you um, go look for it. It's, it's, it's there in case you're interested. So using a chemical reaction, uh, uh, equation to find the moles of reactants. That's what we're gonna do right now. I've already got my whiteboard ready for that. So let's come here using a chemical equation to find the moles of product. All right, so first of all, acetylene gas is often used, and it's really hard to pay attention to this stuff in one here, okay? It's often used uh, in welding torches because blankety blank, it produces when it reacts with, aha, okay, when it reacts with O2, C2, H2, plus O2, producing carbon dioxide and water vapor. All right, calculate the moles of water moles. Calculate the moles of water. So when I figure that, it, that when I when I fill in that, I'm done, right? Calculate the moles of water produced by the reaction of two moles of oxygen. Two moles of oxygen. Um, all right. So it looks like the two moles are all being reacted by the reaction of two moles of oxygen. All right. So now what I got to do is I got to come here and first of all make sure this is a balanced equation. And then I have to find what my molar ratios are. So watch this. If there are two carbons here, there must be two over here, right? If there are two hydrogens here, there must be two over here. And it looks like there already are. If there are two oxygens here, well, oxygen is simple. So let's do that one last. Looks like there's four oxygens here and one. That makes five total. So I can make this five by multiplying that by five halves. So the last thing I do then is I go through and multiply all these by two. So I can get rid of my fractions. Five, four, and two. Two, five, four, and two. All right. So now it looks like I'm, if I've got, let me come here to red. And if I've got two, you know what? I keep this clean. Two moles of oxygen, because that's what I was given, right? Two moles of oxygen. And I really want to convert that to moles of H2O, because that's what I was asked, right? Calculate the moles of water produced. So in order to do that, I've got to eliminate moles of oxygen so it will cancel and introduce moles of water, right? And this is my molar ratio. Very important, molar ratio. This is my molar ratio. And so knowing that, I need that, I, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say, what's my molar ratio? It looks like I've got five to two, right? So like there's five moles of oxygen for every two moles of water. Agreed? You see that? Five moles of oxygen for every two moles of water. And there's my conversion. So now I take my two and multiply it by two, divide by five, and I get four fifths. I'm probably gonna have to re report, well, it looks like I'm gonna repeat this to, re report this to three sig figs. So it looks like four fifths is actually 0 0.8 but it's to three sig figs, so it's gonna be 0 0.800 moles of water. All right, hope that's helpful.